Hello and welcome everyone back to a portal to Starcraft episode 7 part 2 which I did promise to you guys after I made the first part, which we'll be looking at in this video, macro training and macro drills for the Zerg race, because it does differ quite a lot from the Protoss and Terran side of things, which if you haven't seen that video, the link will be in the description down below. So let's have a little bit of a talk about Zerg before we even get into this. Zerg is all about speed and timing in the macro cycle, where Terran and Protoss thrive off of a queuing of units and a queuing basis of units, Zerg creates units instantly and obviously they have to be a lot cheaper and a lot less powerful but the swarming nature of the Zerg is where they come through stronger. So when in the macro cycle of a Zerg there's three things to take into consideration. One is Queen Injex, two is Lava and three is bases in general, since all of the unit producing structures are just simply coming straight from the hatchery rather than external buildings like the Protoss and Terran. So the more hatcheries you have, the more units you can make and the more queens you have, the more you can inject your hatcheries. But without further ado, let's stop talking here and I'll see you guys inside the gameplay where I'll explain how to get better at the macro side of the Zerg race. See you all there. Okay, so Zerg. This is how. This is pretty much step one of what we're going to be doing in the video today. We've got ourselves a spawning pool, we have ourselves a hatchery, and we have ourselves a queen. So step one, what we're going to want to do is stare at the base. Don't even look away for a second. You're going to grab your queen, you're going to inject here, and you're going to make as many drones as your body can take. So what we're going to do is, is Zerg is on a 30 second cooldown in terms of injects. So as you can see on the top bar above the hatchery, this is your progress bar of your um, inject going through. So as soon as that bar is completed, the inject is done and you can queue up another inject. So what was going to happen is we're going to keep our drone count at zero. So keep it at zero, but as soon as this hatchery is finished this inject, we're going to immediately queue up another inject. And then we're going to, as we have one base, we're going to make one overlord and two drones. So what happens is, is in Zerg play, the idea is the way I like to think of it is try and make as many overlords in your um, macro cycle as you do bases. So if one base within every macro cycle, make one overlord and so on and so forth. And so just keep doing this. This is easy to keep it at zero, keep it at zero, keep it at zero. As soon as this um, inject cycle is completed, as you can see, it's just popped off. Queue up another inject as and then make one overlord and two drones and keep doing that and just keep doing that this is your little step one of your little macro cycle and just from there just keep spamming it so you keep those um injects sorry those lava at zero so that is literally all there is to step one just keep repeating this as you can see the progress bar i'll do one more cycle for you guys just to keep it clear one more cycle we're going to keep waiting keep waiting keep waiting the one more lava will pop off there it's just about to complete we got it and pops off queue up another one one overlord two drones keep it going and as you can see that will mean that we're always just a little bit underneath our supply so from here what i want you to do is to do the exact same thing but look away from the base as you can see we see our command card down the bottom and down here we also see the uh, hatchery progress bar so keep the lava at zero and keep an eye on this progress bar and what you want to do is as soon as that progress bar does fill out you want to hit your F key to bring yourself back to your base, queue up that inject, look away, one overlord, two drones, and keep doing that. So by able to do this, so Zerg, in terms of hotkeys and in, in terms of macro drills, you need to keep your location drills very much on the lockdown. So I can easily hit, um, I'll show you another one. So I'm just going to talk about what I'm doing as I'm doing it. So we're just going to keep keeping our um, hatchery queued on four, keep spamming that Q button until that hatchery has completed its inject cycle. So it's about to do here. I'm going to see that it's completed, I'm going to hit F1 which brings me back to my main base, click on the queen, queue it up, hit an overlord, double drones, look away. And that's literally what your first part of your cycle is going to be. Alrighty, so from there we now have our couple of little zerglings here. We're going to set up another inject cycle, so we're going to keep, as to say, like same as Protoss in, uh, in Terran rather when I did that, ooh I've got a bit of lag. Alright, so <laughs> keeping these little guys moving, same as uh, the Terran and Protoss when I did the other day. So keep these guys moving around on this map, we're going to hit back, we're going to set up a uh, cycle. So we're going to go back, inject, go back to the Zerglings, keep it going, one overlord, couple of drones, keep it moving. We're going to keep spamming back between four and one, Ooh, that will happen, four, keep it spamming one, check your check your lava, see if it's got lava. And another way to check if you, don't, if you have more than one, oh we got one lava, keep it making it to drones. We can see that the hatchery is getting on the way to being completed very shortly. Just keep flicking back every once in a while. 
Come I mean, on, keep moving these guys around. Oh, it's coming close now. We've got another la uh, lava to be spent. Keep it going, and we're about to need another Q back. Hit it. One Overlord, two drones. Keep it moving around. And I did muck up there. They, they did stop moving there for a split second. And this is what I want you to do here. Do it for about just a couple of minutes. You don't do it too long, and then you just kind of get into the feel of how this cycle works. Lava there. Keep checking it. We're coming up to another Q very, very shortly. Oh, that's a miss, miss click. Keep it moving. And we're about to finish that. Oh, missed it again. We're about to finish that. Another one. There we go. Go back. One overlord. Couple of drones. Keep it moving. And just literally just do that. That is part of this drill as well. Next thing we're going to want to do is jump down here and make another base. Okay, so now we have our two hatcheries and they're both hotkeyed. One to, um, they're both bound to four. One will be set to the location key on F1, the other on location key on F2. So the thing now is, it's just about moving faster and knowing what your timings are. So you've got 30 seconds between each interval. So what we're going to do is we're going to queue up two um, cycles for this. So we're going to hit F1, hit our queen, inject, hit F2, grab our queen, inject, keep these guys moving around. We're going to keep spending all the lava we have and keep these guys moving around. We're going to flick back. And even now you can notice if we go onto this command card, you can't see the progress bars on each of the injects. But what you can do is just click on one of these uh, wireframes and you can see it. So we can go back, make sure we're spending our lava since the numbers on there is the lava. Go back, click on it. We see the uh, injects coming up soon. Very, very soon. Here we go. Here we go. Keep spending all the lava. Come back. Injects coming up really shortly now. The injects are done. So we're going to go F1, inject, F2, inject, go back. Now we want to make two overlords and keep making the rest into drones. Because as I said before, you need to make as many overlords as you do bases, especially if you're going to start spamming out a lot, a lot of units keep these guys moving we have two lava there we got to check it it's coming about halfway so that's okay we can keep these guys moving around we have a little bit of time left to play with come back check it we're coming in really close now come back check it we have two lava to spend spend those two lava come back check it. it's coming up really soon now and we can check it again it's about ready to be completed come back f1 f2 go back to our workers two overlords the rest into drones keep moving around and as you can see we're always on top of our supply and we're never going to get supply block as soon as we're not losing army obviously so that is how that little bit works but uh, what i would like to mention is as we get later on into the games of zerg you get a lot of bases you get a lot of queens and it gets a lot of hectic but what they have implemented in legacy of the void is that you can queue up inject so I'm, let's just have a look at this really quick so we're gonna see how my oh wait this queen's got more energy See how my queen's got this pro, this little purple bar, it's got quite a lot of energy. If I click on it, hit my inject button, hold down shift and just spam on top of this hatchery, look what happens. So I've clicked it maybe four or five, maybe ten times, it just keeps injecting until the queen's out of energy. Which means that she, um, the, that particular hatchery will keep popping off lava until those couple of inject cycles are done. So later on in Zerg Macro, when you're not worrying about queen energy, when you're not needing as much queen energy, you can do this as it will save time in your APM. It will spare you a lot of APM and that just means that your injects will be constant. See how as soon as one pops off, the next one comes back on straight away without even having to worry about it. So do keep that in mind when it comes into later stages of the game. You haven't got to spam APM like you did in Wings of Liberty and Heart of the Swarm. So the last little thing I wanted to add onto this is simply this. Okay, so the last thing I want you to do is I want to show you the importance of egg hotkeying. So when in Zerg have this interesting functionality that when in the eggs, you can actually queue up and add them to a control group before they even hatch. So this is going to be a lot of practice and it incorporates your wireframe control and that sort of thing. So it's all about incorporating it under the cycle. Rather than making drones here, we're going to be making nothing but pure Zergling. So this is how this works. We're going to... Hit 4, we can see we got a lot of lava saved up. We're going to just hold down the Zergling button. As we can see, we're making a lot of eggs here. And instead of just letting them, as they queue up, walk across the map, we can control click all the ones we've made, which is all of them, shift them and add them to group 1. So if I hold group 1, we got the two Zerglings which are completed and the rest of the eggs. And watch, if I click my 1 and queue these Zerglings to come back home, the rest which I've just made come to rally across also. And this is just... This is super important in Zerg play. You need to get good at this and you need to get fast at this. And if you just practice it, you do get pretty quick at being able to egg hotkey and egg split like that. It's really not the hardest of skills, but that's incorporated into our macro cycle. So we have all these Zerglings, we have all the lava. We're going to hit one, queue up a lava inject, two, hit queue up a lava inject. 
We're going to keep moving. We're going to make nothing but Zerglings out of this. We're going to keep moving them across the map. Keep going, keep going. So every time we see lava inside of our bases, we're going to make nothing but pure Zergling. We come back, we check. That's another way you can check your index, is just to hit the button and just see what that progress bar is at. So we see a couple of lava, make them into Zerglings, shift, uh, shift click them to one, keep moving. We can see the Injex are coming up very, very shortly. Keep it moving across the map, there we go. The Injex are coming up really, really shortly. Here we got two more lava. Keep it moving, keep it moving, keep it moving. We have three, we have one Inject popping off. We can go F1, shift click, F2, go here. We're going to make two Overlords and the rest into Zerglings, hit them over there. So what I did there really quickly was I hit four, I hit Q, 2W, then I hit 4 again to reset it, hit Q, and then all the E's, and then uh, control cli uh, shift clicked all the E's onto that particular button. We're going to keep mapping them around, keep these guys moving constantly. We see the inject will be coming off very, very shortly. Just come back, check it, go back, check it. I like to go hit the F keys because I think it's faster than clicking on the wireframe and more accurate like that. We can see the um, it's coming out really, really shortly. Keep these guys moving. Inject, inject. Two overlords, the rest into lings, shift click them over, and as you can see, these bars over here is where they are rallying to when they do get created. And I have a lot of lings here, that's our 90 zerglings, it's a lot of supply. We see that inject coming up very shortly, and just keep doing this for another couple of minutes, we're going to bring these guys back home. And then once you get to three bases, make three overlords at a time, when you get to four, make four at a time. And then that just will keep up with the amount of production zerg is able to do, and as you can see, just being able to hotkey, that's now 20 lings I can make instantly right there that will queue out. So yeah, that's all there really is to Zerg Macro. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, leave a like down below and sub to the channel. It does help out a ton. But as always, and if you'd like to see more of these Portal to StarCraft series, stick around, subscribe. In the description down below is my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. Check all of them out. But as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.